And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Austin Myers, who writes, Hey, John and Rob, I don't know if you watch Cobra Kai or not, but it's one of my favorite shows. And I just read a story that says the star of the show, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I have no idea how to pronounce his name. So I'm going to pronounce it Zolo Maraduena is going to star in the new DC movie, Blue Beetle. I admit, I don't know much about the character, but I love seeing actors from Cobra Kai getting some recognition and chances to grow. What do you think of this casting, and does it increase your excitement for the movie? Thanks. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Austin. And yeah, listen, Blue Beetle is one of those projects that they've actually talked about for years. Rob, do you remember a bunch of years ago, there was even talk that they were going to do like a buddy cop movie of Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. Yep. Remember that? Yep. And that thing kind of just fell to the wayside and there's some other talks. And then they said, no, 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 we're doing a Blue Beetle movie. And then they brought a director on board and it's been kind of quiet on that front. Well, now it's kind of looking like this star of Cobra Kai is probably going to be Blue Beetle. This comes to us from Screen Rant who writes, according to a report from The Wrap, again, I, I apologize. I do not know the pronunciation of his name. So Zolo uh, Marduena is in talks with Warner Brothers in D.C. to play Jaime Riaz in Blue Beetle. Uh, Marduina is, is a recent breakout star of the Karate Kid sequel series, Cobra Kai, where he plays one of the lead roles in Miguel Diaz. A deal for him to star in the Blue Beetle is not finalized, but this report indicates that the young actor is on the verge of playing the fan favorite D.C. hero. All right, here's the thing. I don't like Cobra Kai. Sorry, I don't like Cobra Kai. My wife loves it and loves Cobra Kai. Kaori what? loves Cobra Kai. Uh, almost everybody I know loves Cobra Kai. And for that, that's awesome. That is great. I was very, very excited. Rob, when they first announced they were doing Cobra Kai, I was super excited about it. I thought it was a brilliant idea. And listen, I, I watched like the first four episodes and it just wasn't for me. I, I have no complaints about it. I'm just saying it just wasn't for me. That's all. But a lot of people I know love this show. Love it. And I think it's great that from such a popular show that started as a YouTube original and is now on Netflix, that a young star, breakout star from that, can get a big break in starring in his own DC superhero movie. I think this is fan this is this is the type of story that puts a smile on your face, to be honest with you. For two reasons. Number one, Blue Beetle is, a, is not the most popular DC character, but he's one that has a definite fan base. He's a fan favorite for a lot of people. But number And then number two, you got this show that a lot of people love in Cobra Kai, and one of these young stars is now going to get a break in doing this. And that's just a feel-good kind of story. So I'll tell you what. I am not a very good judge on, you know, what this kid's talent level is because I haven't watched enough of that show to see or judge to know if he's any good or not, but clearly he's a fan favorite. People really like him. And I think the story of him getting a break like this, Rob, is actually pretty exciting. Anyway, Rob, and there was still some talk around. Some people thought it should be like Cord, uh, should be, you know, Blue Beetle, but I like the idea of them doing Jaime Reyes as their Blue Beetle. At any rate, Rob, you hear about this. I don't know if you watch Cobra Kai or not. What do you think about this matchup in this casting? Well, first of all, I think the I like Cobra Kai. Um, I uh, I think this is good casting. It's interesting because the version of Blue Beetle they're going with is a newer version of the character, and I'm a huge fan of the Ted Cord version the, that was popularized in, in the 80s, but I understand why they're going with this version. I think he's a good actor. Um, again, it all comes down to the story and character. How is this character going to be written? And uh, it's exciting. I mean, I, 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 again, I like, actually, I like both Blue Beetles. I mean, I like the characters. So it's just interesting to me that this is the, this is who they're going to, uh, this is who they're going to be the next, this is the next DC character. And maybe it'll be a breakout character like Shazam. But I really wanted to see the Blue Beetle Booster Gold movie, the Blue <laughs> and the Gold. I, cause I love those characters. But I mean, listen, uh, to, you know, give you a little bit of hope there in your, you know, sadness rainfall, Rob, let me give you a little bit of sunshine. I mean, <laughs> couldn't the possibility though, that if this comes out and I think they're saying this is going to be an HBO max movie, much like the Batgirl movie is going to be, but I mean, if they come out this thing and it goes over really well with the fans, 
does that not increase the possibility of a Blue Beetle Booster Gold crossover at some point? Because, because you do have to admit, the one thing, as fun as I thought it sounded doing a Booster Gold Blue Beetle crossover thing, the one problem with that is you are talking about doing a crossover with two fairly unknown characters. Now, I can hear people screaming at me, we know who Booster Gold is. People who don't read comic books have no idea who Booster Gold is. They know who Wonder Woman is. They know who Iron Man is. They know who Aquaman is. They know who Batman is. They know all these guys. But Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, to a lot of people, are probably like, who, what, are these kitchen cleaning products? I mean, they just don't know. So I always thought like trying to do a crossover of two relatively unknown characters might have been a little bit risky. But I think, Rob, if a Blue Beetle does well, it could l create a yellow brick road that leads to the silver city of, of maybe a booster gold blue beetle crossover. I don't know. What do you think about that? Well, the, I, look, I'd love to see that, but the thing is it's that care the this, this blue beetle is not the blue beetle that's friends with booster gold. So, but I, I, I think that doesn't mean you can't bring in another. It's a multiverse, John. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, look, I think whenever a character is successful, it's good for everybody because it, it shines more light on the character more people know about them. And um, I think it's great. You know, no, there's no downside if it turns out to be great. That's true. And the question is for you guys. What do you make of this? Are you a fan of Cobra Kai? If so, what do you think about this casting? Maybe you don't watch Cobra Kai. What do you think about them finally getting a lead for Blue Beetle regardless? Whatever you guys think about this, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.